You know, the first time I saw Stormship Troopers as a kid, it made me a little bit scared to think that perhaps the first time that we find intelligent life out there, out there in the great cosmos of Milky Way galaxy, of our galactic neighbor of like Andromeda, out there that the very first intelligent life that we may find wants nothing more than our own extermination, that they are very warlike, that perhaps we will not be able to find a species that wants to reach out and help us, but to do nothing but maybe eat us? I don't know. So that's why Stormship Troopers always kind of left an impression on me, which is great that now it's in a video game format because now we can go ahead and shoot those dumb, dirty bug bastards. Um, am I allowed to say that in the first minute? Uh, that sounded pretty gruesome. That was some strong language and I do, I do apologize, I tell you what. But today we're going to be taking a look at their new update at their new map. That's right, they have Hive Hunt. Now typically you might be used to the kind of usual mode of like Horde, you know, maybe capture the territory and other kind of other game modes where you have 16 players, a large map, you build up a base, you have objectives, you kind of all work together in a big open area and it works out great. It's fun, awesome, cruel. You kind of survive, then you all get on a giant ship in the end and you fly away to victory. Now, but today we're gonna be taking a look at Hive Hunt, their newest mode where you only have four players and you try to dive down into a cave system and try to place nukes on the core and blow up the entire bug kind of network system. I mean, I've only managed to play it for about like two minutes and instantly died. So here's a little bit of clip of that footage against these giant spiders that I'm about to go down. No, God damn it. <laughs> so here I am giving it a round two to make sure that maybe we get a better chance at it this time. So let's go ahead and jump right into it and see what this game mode has in store for us. Catch up to my teammates because they seem to have all gone right ahead of me. Come on, guys, wait up. No. <laughs> we finally get to meet up and now that I see now, this is what you guys have been doing, huh? Just been shooting bugs without me. Oh, okay. Real, real, real kind and courteous of y'all. You could have just waited a little bit longer. No, okay, it's fine. I, I guess I'll just keep, you know, picking up the side ones. And oh my God, what the hell are we walking into? Well, first of all, there is a bunch of bugs coming your way. I'm gonna go ahead and lay down my fortification right now because it also gives me the ability to have absolutely no recoil to this gun and just absolutely open fire in this bullshit. <laughs> just absolutely decimate these guys from a range, doing a fantastic job at it. I uh, egg destroyed, egg destroyed, egg destroyed, egg destroyed. I, I, I guess destroying the eggs is also a good thing. Just opening fire into this squad of bugs and hopefully I can take them out in time and reload. Um, he's saying something about the eggs, but I can just barely hear him. So I have absolutely no idea what he is saying at the moment, but they're doing something about looking for eggs. So I don't know what that's all about. I, so, hey, you know, I guess there are other achievements. There are other kind of weird ways to go on about this. So, you know, hey, if you guys have been liking the game, feel free to go ahead and take a look on Steam. I believe it's like 20 or 30 bucks right now. It's all in beta form. So you still get lots of updates. They have a roadmap and all this stuff to check out. And oh my God, <laughs> I need to reload and try to talk at the same time, taking out these tiger bugs. Oh God, okay, I'm gonna lay down my cover. I am getting surrounded here. There we go, there we go. I am fully surrounded. Okay, I need a grenade, grenade. I, that's not gonna be too close to me, is it? It's still effective, it's still effective. I don't even know where my cover is anymore. Yeah, I, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and drop it. I'm, I'm moving. Oh God, not next to it. I can't even tell what's going on anymore. You know, sometimes this game really does do a great job of making me feel like an absolute badass of just trying to take out all these waves of bugs, just consistently just absolutely coming up to the side of your cover, shooting out in all directions, but I'm down to my last couple bullets and now I have nothing more than a revolver. But the, what a great time to hold. go ahead and have all these bugs die off on me because I need to get the hell out of here. Try to find myself a little bit of ammo. And you know, also right now, I'm really hoping that, uh, <laughs> you know, sometimes I get a little concerned about when I record these videos, especially with teammates, because there have been times when I've actually left my mic on and they've been just listening to me the entire time. So it's been kind of a, <laughs> I always have to double check on this, make sure I'm not actually still active on the mic or anything like that. That's be kind of awkward. They're just be sitting there listening to me doing a let's play. That's right. You get a live version of it. And we're trying to help our allies plant this nuke here. So we need to give them a nice opportunity to go ahead and try to plant that for them. Uh, do, do we have it? I don't know if we have it maybe with us already trying to find an opportunity to maybe get up to this thing place nuke Um, okay, sure. Why not? I suppose we can uh Well, that seems effective <laughs> so it's Just just casually place a nuke on the side of a cluster right here. Yeah, okay. Yeah, you know, I mean sure why not? Oh god, okay. Well that just blew up one or two core eyes destroyed I didn't know that was gonna be like a timed thing. I thought maybe we were gonna have to like press a button and they all blow up later on. All right, well, that is to be noted. They have a time frame going on. Oh, hey, finally ammo. Jesus, about time. Took long enough. Now I can finally reload this behemoth of an LMG. 800 bullets worth of just straight up stacked up behemoth. Read them, that's what I tell you what. Yeah, oh, oh, so I got my emancipator, all 80 bolts of it too. Beautiful. Now we are locked and loaded and ready for the next wave. 
Must have got some more. Ooh, that's right. We have mines. Ooh, we have explosives that go stuck on the ground. I think they go stuck to most services and they have a laser guided kind of infrared system on top. Oh my God. Latest model with nothing but 30 kilotons of explosives. I don't know how many kilotons. <laughs> Man, God forbid if anybody walked up to me with like a big white van full of candy because I swear to God, I would follow them. I'm just straight up following this guy because he has a lantern and I like the lights. The lights make it look pretty. And I just thought I followed him all the way to the end of a dark cave and now he has led me to goodies. I must follow the man with the lamp. He has the glow, the green. Oh, he makes little lanterns. Oh, okay, so that's where all these have been coming from. <laughs> Captain Hawkeye's been leading the way. Oh, we finally got a little bit of contact of hello there. Them just waiting around the corner. I'm gonna lay down my fortifications down immediately and just burn them all alive. <laughs> oh, that was actually quite effective. Hello there, they're just coming through the fire and flames. Just fire into the crowd, fire into the crowd. Oh God, oh God, okay, I'm getting so Oh God, they just, they just ambushed me. Ex excuse me, lay down the fortification, open fire. My God, they just sort of ambushed me in the middle of this cave system. What the hell? Why me? Why me? Why not anybody else? Jesus Christ. Hopefully not too many more spawn, yeah? Is that all? Is that all you guys got? God damn, I'm just trying to cross through here. You know, and I was even just about to have a whole segment about saying like, man, this is a cool update. The fact that, you know, they've really brought together a new type of like play style going from an, a large open world to just kind of a big sprawling cave system. Maybe having very cool graphics and like open areas like this is, gives very atmospheric type of situations. But no, no, instead you just need to be like, oh, you know, you're about to have a, you know, a casual moment of appreciating our game. No, instead you get bugs to the face. I see how it is. I see how it is. Okay, fine. I'm just gonna make sure I'm reloading on everything along the way. Reload up this magazine. Yeah, good to go. Tap the lamp, tap, tap, because you have to appreciate the lamp. Always appreciate the lamp. Pick up thermo charge. What is this? Oh, okay. So now I have both thermo charges and mines at the same time and I can swap between them. Okay. <laughs> Hell yeah, I just have thermo charges now. Okay, yeah, I should not be trusted with these. I can just lay these down just like how I want to along with the mines as well. Oh my God, yeah, this is a, uh, you know, you guys are gonna, oh wow, that is a lot of nuke symbols. So we need to place a few nukes around here and we also need to take out these guys. Let's lay down our fortifications again, lay down the wall and just straight up open fire. We got somebody with a rocket launcher that's just straight up shooting them at these eggs. Yeah, destroy all highs and extract in about five minutes. Oh, we are running out of time. We got to hurry this up. Just take these guys out. Take out the eggs at the same time. They're blocking our view. Get everything that gets highlighted here with the radar. We got something purple glowing over there to the left. Oh, that is our ally that's actually over there. That's our ally I'm trying to take them out. No, no, I need to reload, buddy. I need to reload. I just realized it's you. No, okay, reloading, reloading, reloading. Yeah, just jump on over, buddy. Yeah, okay. Oh, I love the fact that these guys are all highlighted right now. That is making it so much easier, not only for me to see, but also for the viewers at home to see, just like you. That's right. Oh my, no, no recoil when you're in here. It is basically just as though you always have a bipod on this thing. You know, that is not true at all. Take out all, come on, take out the big ones. And all oh, that is a lot that is coming still. Um, going and reload real quick. I don't want to interrupt the reloading animation. Throw a grenade, take out maybe a few of them. Yeah, there we go. This is a bad time for a wave to spawn because we are only going to have a few minutes left to actually take out these guys with the nukes. Come on, come on. We need to fight our way through this horde, hopefully by just having enough ammo to do so. Yeah, there is enough of them out in the distance still, but luckily it's just a bunch of small ones now. I'm going to reload and then we're going to break my fortification. All right, so we are making our way on over to this first nuke off to our left side, but okay, we have a bunch of them spawning in behind us. Spawning in behind us, lay down some mines. They can't chase me if I mine everything behind me. I don't know if that's actually going to be true or not, but I want to place the nuke right here. I cannot do it. I got smacked out of the way. Let's pull out my machine gun again. Come on. Come on, give me what you got. Yeah, yeah, I'm also running out of ammo soon on this. I only have like 30 bullets left, 20 bullets left. Take out all these big guys. Oh, and the ally comes to the rescue with the rocket launcher to the face. Okay, I need to reload, reload, reload. I still have a bunch of these guys coming after me. I'm not gonna get a chance to place that nuke. Okay, uh, I'm not really too sure what to do about this besides just keep on opening fire. Keep on opening fire. Thank God for this magazine and thank God for this magnum. Ah, <laughs> they keep on smacking me away. I, okay, I need to lay down cover. I need to lay down cover. Now that it's regenerated, I just need to lay down cover and just keep on shooting. Just keep on shooting. Take all these big ones, yeah. We don't have much time left. We only got two and a half minutes. 
I don't, I don't know if I'm gonna have enough time to get to this nuke. Did, not, did my ally do it for me already? Okay, I'm gonna get out of my fortification. I gotta place this one. Jump on over, jump on over. Placing nuke. There we go, the nuke has been placed. Now just keep on running, just keep on running. Oh God, something is shooting me. I don't know what. <laughs> I think it's my ally trying to save me and it is not working out too well. Oh God, I'm almost down, I am down. Oh, but I got revived immediately. <laughs> Hive extermination complete. We managed to just barely do it. We did it just in time with only like a minute left. Hell yeah. Okay, I need to get to this ammo. It's quick. Extraction. Prepare for extraction. Okay, that's right. One of the allies that we are moving east this time. Keep on moving through. Keep on moving through. Don't want to have these guys have any opportunity to stack up on us. But the recoil on this thing when you are not in fortification mode, my god, is absolutely atrocious. It is hard as all hell trying to hold this thing steady in any sense of kind because it is all over the place. <laughs> my god, trying to like, okay, hang on. I hope that we actually do get a few more bugs here. We still have 200 more meters to go. We have quite a distance to run through. But we have a few. Yep. Okay, but we need a good chance. Okay, now we're spawning some. Yeah. But look at this recoil. It is bouncing all over the place. Trying to hold it completely steady is hard. It's only really good at like close range. Just kind of hit fire though. It's the best that you can really do. Shoot behind me from all these small guys. Okay, keep on going, keep on going. Oh, they're gonna be spawning in between us. I need to lay down mines behind me. I don't know if that's actually gonna work or not. But I can also lay down charges. And then I can use LT to detonate them. Hang on, hang on. I want to lay down multiple charges. Yeah, I've got multiple charges down. So if I just go ahead and detonate these. <laughs> Hell yeah. Now isn't that just effective? <laughs> All right, so now we're just doing a kind of like a final stand. Drop shit, return to the drop shit. It is leaving in one minute, but why not get a little bit more XP and just take out some of these guys out front? Yeah, yeah. Now this is what I'm talking about. This is a real bug extermination, except that my cover kind of completely blocks my shot here. And that is a little annoying. <laughs> He's giving me a speed stim. Yeah. <laughs> Running around at the speed of sound. Let's go. Let's go with the Magnum. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we got some big explosions going on. But man, they really did a good job with this update. There is a great environment. Man, I can't tell where I am right now. I'm just firing into a void of green mist of their blood. I love the environment of like the blue lights going off like the mist of the, of the area. The good explosions going on. Great lighting. Kind of the way the sky looks. I mean, honestly, they, they did a great job. Good updates. Overall, I, I think it's fun. I think it's a good like addition of terms of content. They brought more weapons and kind of like attributes to more of these, you know, character classes and stuff like that. It, it's a really fun game. And I think honestly, a lot more people should give it kind of, you know, a, a good buy, give it a try. And if you don't like it, you can always return it. I think it's like less than two hours played on Steam. You're allowed to return a game. But yeah, we have ourselves a victory. And that has been the new mode called, was it, was it Hive Mind? I think it's called Hive Mind. Hang on a second. Let's take a look at our XP. 400 XP for the mission. Combat 520. Side objectives of 730. My God, support of one experience because I did not do much support. I mean, well, I mean, I kind of feel like I was supporting my allies, but you know, I wasn't exactly healing nobody or resupplying nobody. <laughs> so yeah, that was a great kind of good look at the at the new mode Hive Mind. I think it's called Hive Mind. We have four player base instead of the 16 regular format, kind of a cave system, placing nukes, going through, surviving. And honestly, while we still have you here, take a look. What was the mode? Hive Hunt. That's right, Hive Hunt. So think of DigiDees. If you want to see more content just like this, feel free to comment down below. Like the video, subscribe, all that crap. Honestly, I don't, this is what it's, I'm not saying it. I'm not saying it this time. Technically, I already said it. So you already know what was to be expected. But hey, I still don't know how to do any of these outros. That should be completely apparent. But if there's one thing I can always guarantee you is that I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you. And bye bye. Stay safe now. Don't get in no trouble. Blame it on your Uncle Jimmy. If you get in trouble, just say he did it. It's okay. He's okay. He knows about it. I'm not even saying it anymore. Oh my God. <laughs> can I stop recording now?